I didn't like how abruptly I had ended that video about the prophets, so I just wanted to kind of um, give it a nice ending here. Um, my point in showing this um, map was just to show the, the wide variety of, of places. Um, now remember, Israel's over here. Assyria, this is the capital Nineveh, which is where Jonah goes to prophesy, um, comes and conquers Israel, the northern part. And then Babylon comes up and takes over all this, okay? Um, and uh, they take over uh, Judah. And then Persia comes up here and takes over Babylon and takes over everything. And the prophets, a good majority of them have to do with either Israel or Judah. Um... The prophets that were sent to Israel is Amos and Hosea. The prophets that were sent to Judah, Isaiah, Micah, Habakkuk, Zephaniah, Jeremiah, Daniel, Ezekiel, Haggai, Zechariah, Joel, and Malachi. And the prophets sent to foreign nations, somewhere besides, excuse me. It'll come back on screen. There we go. Uh, sent somewhere besides Israel or Judah is Jonah, Nahum, and, oh no, and Obadiah. Jonah and Nahum were both sent to Assyria. Obadiah was sent to um, Edom. Now, if you remember, Edom was the was that um, Jacob's brother that became a nation over here. Um, so, <clears throat> and and uh, like in some of the prophets, I believe Isaiah, for instance, talks about you know all these different places, uh, and and not a whole lot of them are, are that important for you to understand during your first read through of the prophets, you know. Um, where they are, just so you kind of get the grasp of what they're talking about. Um, however, you can always study more and always f um, find out more. And so I'm not trying to um, give you an exhaustive concordance, I guess you could say, or exhaustive dictionary or encyclopedia of everything that's going on in the prophets. But rather, I'm just trying to help make it simpler so that you can um, make it more simple so that you can go and study the prophets um, on your own and, and truly learn um, from it. <clears throat> Um, and then as far as the time frame, um, this is just to kind of give you, give you, a, uh, show you, um, and remember this was supposed to be given in conjunction with this, uh, paper that I, that I give out, um, which has the pro the, the prophet, the date that, that they prophesied, what the setting was or when it happened, um, the main message um, and who they went to and all that stuff um, on there. Um, <clears throat> so this is just to kind of show you a flow of, of when they came. Uh, Jonah was to Assyria. Amos was to Israel. Hosea was to Israel. They didn't listen. Um, they, they didn't listen. Uh, Isaiah was to um, Israel. Oh, Judah and Israel. Um, excuse me. Stupid thing. Um, Micah was to um, Judah. Israel falls here, so obviously they're not going to get any more prophets there. Nahum was to uh, Nineveh. Habakkuk or Habakkuk, whatever, was to Judah. 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 Now, that, Daniel, for instance, is technically he prophesied after Judah had already fallen. See what I mean? Um, he started, you know, about the right before it, it fell, and, and after, and, and went through till Persia. So, or till Persia takes over. Uh, so first off, he prophesied for a long time. And second off, his his book is is a lot a lot different than all the other prophet books. Um, it's got a lot more um, apocalypse stuff, you know, uh, end timey kind of things. Um, things that just have a different vibe than the rest of the prophets. And, uh, well, anyways, he, and he has a lot of stories in his, too, like, for instance, um, about the people being thrown into the furnace, if you've never heard that one. Um, and, and, and the bowing, bowing to the idol and all that stuff. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, so, and then he would, and so he was exiled to, to Babylon, and then he's there in the Persian Empire as well, 
Um, I don't think he ever went home. So to say that he was a prophet to Judah isn't very accurate because kind of, but also kind of to Babylon and Persia. It's um, Ezekiel um, was uh, to Judah, but then he was exiled into Babylon and uh, continued to prophesy there. Um, then Judah fell in 586, which takes us to really no prophets. There's just kind of this lull until the exiles return in 538. And then there's Haggai and Zechariah, with, which are both mentioned in, um, I think it's Ezra or Nehemiah, and about, uh, I think it's Ezra, and, and about um, building the temple. And they encourage the people to rebuild the temple. Um, and then there's Joel and Obadiah and Malachi. Um, Joel. Obadiah was sent to Edom, but Joel and Malachi were both sent to, to uh, Judah. Now, as far as the Book of Lamenta Lamentations, it's just this little, little, little guy um, in your Bible right after Jeremiah. And um, like I say, it's it's may have been written by Jeremiah. Regardless, it was written around 586, first-hand experience of the uh, of the destruction. You can just hear the disaster, um, the the uh, hopeless, not hopelessness, but the, just despair, I guess. Um, and obviously, that's where it gets its name, Lamentations. It's a it's a lament. Um, it's obviously poetical, um, and, and like I was saying, it's, it's about hoping in God, even though God is the one who, who allowed the destruction to come because they were sinning. Um, yeah, just kind of this, um, you can just kind of hear the, the tension in, in, the, in the Lamentor's voice. Um, but yeah, so, uh, no, I mean, I guess this, this didn't add a whole lot. But I just wanted to make sure that, that it was less um, rushed. Um, and then I had people coming to my office too, which was making it a little bit difficult. Any questions, post it below.